is firefighter Dana Hilton with FireSafetyEducator.com. And today we're in the Arkansas State Capitol in Little Rock, where the Novelty Lighter Initiative has been brought up before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Hi, my name is Lieutenant Mark Shoemaker. I'm the Deputy Fire Marshal for the North Little Rock Fire Department. Today we're here at the State Capitol, where uh, Senate Bill 154 was to uh, ban Novelty Lighters, made its first step to the Judiciary Committee. They had a hearing on that today, which went really well. The Attorney General spoke for it, as well as Senator Sharon Trustee. Uh, there were all eyes, nobody voted nay. Uh, we're going to carry it on from here and see where it goes. My name is Jimmy Parks. I'm a nurse. I've been a burn nurse for about 15 years in Arkansas. Um, we came here today at the Capitol to support the ban on the sale of novelty lighters because um, one of the leading causes of death in children in Arkansas is fire related injuries. We see this a lot in the burn center. About a third of our patients, a third of the kids that we treat in the burn center are burned in fires that they started themselves or they were playing in a fire when they got burned. So this is a really important issue to us. We work closely with firefighters around the state to teach children that fire is not a tool. But when there's lighters that look like toys, this makes it hard to get our point across. We want to keep little kids out of the burn center. We want to keep them out of fiery homes. And so we're supporting the ban on novelty lighters. My name is Lieutenant John Flaster. I'm with the North Little Rock Fire Department, Fire Marshal's Office. And I've had the pleasure today of coming to the state capitol and seeing a uh, bill introduced to ban novelty lighters. Uh, I was glad to see our uh, Attorney General Dustin McDaniel behind it. and. Uh, got 100% approval and we're looking forward uh, to this going through and having a ban on novelty lighters in the state of Arkansas. I'm Senator Sharon Trusty and I'm from Russellville and um, we just got out of Judiciary Committee where we passed a ban on novelty lighters. We have three more steps to go. The floor of the Senate and the committee and the floor of the House. I got involved in this issue two children in my community of Russellville died from playing with a novelty lighter that looked like a motorcycle with the flames coming out the exhaust pipe. And I, until then I'd always heard about novelty lighters and until recently I had never seen one. And the first one I saw I was appalled. I couldn't believe that anybody would, would uh, sell something that, that was so dangerous and, uh, and uh, it, it looked like a toy. So I think what we did today is the beginning of a wonderful thing because these lighters are becoming more and more prevalent and if we don't address this issue, we're going to see more and more children and, and adults possibly die of uh, uh, deaths of, of uh, playing with these toys. Um, I think, um, like I said, this is the beginning. I think we're going to be successful and we're, we're very happy that Arkansas is uh, taking the lead in this. There aren't that many other states who have uh, uh, past statewide bans. So uh, we're going to be right in the top there. And I appreciate all the help that the uh, firefighters across the state and anyone who was involved in this, this bill, the Attorney General of Arkansas helped us pass this out. And I think, it, I think we'll be successful. For more information about the ban of novelty lighters, go to the website nonovelteylighters.com or you can visit the Arkansas Children's Hospital website. It's archildrens.org.